all welcome thank you so much for watching in this video i'm going to explain you OAuth 2.0 while explaining i will cover the basic details related to OAuth 2.0 how that OAuth 2.0 works and what is the use of that OAuth 2.0 everything i'm going to explain in this video be with us let's move to the first slide where i will discuss about the details about OAuth 2.0 Open 2.0 is an authorization framework that allows third-party applications to securely access user accounts on an HTTP services without exposing the credentials. It enables applications to obtain limited access by delegating authorizations to the service hosting the user accounts and granting authorizations to the requested applications. The framework ensures secure access management commonly used in scenarios like where we have to log in using single sign-in options without sharing the user ID and password. That's an example of OAuth 2.0. Let's talk about why we require OAuth 2.0. Obviously, we have the traditional authorizations method where we are sharing the user ID and password. That's having the problem. The problem is for the security issues where we are exposing user ID and password. That's why we have OAuth 2.0 as a key advantage where we can, we can recover all these things. In traditional authorizations, we have the issues related to the user password where user must share the password with each and every application they want to access. That's why it's hard to manage and update password across multiple platforms. And the main reason behind it, high risk of credentials theft phishing and data breaches that's why when we are talking about OAuth 2.0 it's having lots of advantage which includes user token instead of password the user don't need to share the user id and password to access the application they just require the access token and applications receive limited access instead of full credentials they reduce the security risk by using short lived and replaceable tokens the token we receive to access the application that can have the configuration that it will expire in few minutes so that it's in every time we have to generate a new token so that there won't be any any a single chance to tipping that the credentials let's talk about the key terminologies of o 2.0 first and common one is the resource owner the resource owner is the one the end user who own the data Next, we have client, the third party applications that are requesting access. For example, a mobile app, a web applications, or any desktop applications, or any third party system which we want, which want to access data. We have authorization server, which author authenticate that user with the token which we are going to share. We have the resource server. The API or the service holding the user's data. Access token is a temporary key that grant the app access to the user's data. And we have refresh token, a token used to request a new access token for after expiring the previous token. Coming to the talking about the flow of OAuth 2.0, it includes few steps. The first step is that user require the access of the application server. And when they require the access, obviously that app server require authorizations. And in app when app servers require authorizations, client need to share the credentials. And that credentials is not like user and password. That is the token. And the app or the system which we are using will transfer the credentials with OAuth 2.0 key. And then authorization server will issue a token. Based on the token, it will access the applications. And then the sixth step, the application by which we are trying to access the data will send the access token to the resource server. And the resource server will validate the access token. And once validated, it will return the resource to that application. The resource server validates and always serve the data or return the data to the applications. And once the data come back from the API or services, the data will be displayed to the UI page. That can be the web applications or mobile applications and all. 
let's discuss all this step one by one the first step where user try to access a resource or log into the applications so this is our when user provided the credentials that credential will be passed to the server and then app when app transfer the credentials with op 2.0 key here in the fourth step the app sends user credentials along with the client id and secret to the authorization server just for validations right and in the next step after successfully validations or author authentications the authorization server responds back with the access token the authorization server will return back the access token to the applications using this access token it will just try to access the resources in the next step you can see the app will web applications will transfer the access token to the resource server the app send access token to the resource server the app uses access token to make api request to the resource server just example we are trying to access the google drive not just passing the user id password just selecting the google account which already logged in and once that resource server validated the access token it will return back the resource data in the next step resource server will validate and serve or return the data the resource server check the token which we send sent by the applications it will validate the token and grant the access to the requesting resources so the web applications whatever resource they want to access the resource server will allow us to access just by validating the access token and that access token is generated by the authorization authorization server so that's the complete flow and in last obvious user will get the informations and notifications about the data which received from the resource server and that will be display over the the web applications or the mobile applications whatever is that the server user is using Let's talk about type of OAuth 2.0 grant flow. OAuth 2.0 provides different method for authentications based on the user access. Authorization code grants, that's the most common and secure used in mobile applications or web applications. Implicit grants that use in client side apps, not deprecated, obvious due to security reasons. to server authentications and here obvious no user involved in this step we have the password grant that is very less use when user username and password are directly sharing and exchanging data we have the device flow used for device with limited input for example we have a smart tvs iot devices and all let's talk about that over 2.0 versus api key and the base auth so when we are talking about differences on all these applications or all the authorization framework that api's key has hard coded keys and it obviously it's not secure for that user authentications no control over what data is going to be accessed and when we are talking about the basic authorizations where we are passing the user id and a password it exposes user credentials in each and every request whenever we are trying to access the service resources and it's difficult to manage across the multiple services and then we have OAuth 2.0 it is completely user token based and it's improved the security it provides the granularly access control only allow a specific actions based on that applications which we created and it can work across multiple platform at same time 
let's say a real life example of this over 2.0 the most common we have single sign in where in an org we are going to access multiple applications just by selecting the single sign in and then single sign in is something that we log into the application once by id providing the credentials and each and every time we are just selecting the single sign on options for example whenever you are logging any application by using the gmail account or using the microsoft account or using the oracle account etc another is that api authentications where we have the google drive tutors linkedin others and the cloud integrations of where most common is that oic where we are invoking oic applications using over 2.0 I will show you that configurations too in upcoming slide. Here you can see the live demo of accessing the OIC applications using that OAT 2.0. And here invoke Oracle integrations REST API to get the data. For example, you can see this is our REST API for Oracle integrations. And obviously, before accessing that, we have to generate the token. For generating the token, we require the user password and instead of user ID and password, we are passing the client ID and secret. Based on this client ID and secret, we are getting access token. And this access token we are using to access the services. And you can see in the next slide, we are going to access the integrations available in the OIC instance. And for that, we have to pass the bear token. That bear token will use the access token. So this is the access token created in the previous step. This access token we are using to access the OIC services. And once we're done, it's returning the data. So this is the real example. And obviously, I will I will uh, give you a demo of that creating the co and configuring the what 2.0 in integrations. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe our YouTube channel. It helped me a lot to enhance my skills and enhance and continuously upload such kind of videos again and again if you want to connect you can connect with us on the linkedin pages we have fox oracle apps solutions linkedin page don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you so much for joining